Tomorrow is World Lymphoma Awareness Day. It takes place on the 15th of September every year, and it's a day dedicated to raising awareness around lymphoma, an increasingly common form of cancer with nearly a thousand people being diagnosed with the disease every single day, yet few people know about it. In fact, in a global survey, half of the participants had no idea about their nodes. Now, a lymph node is a small ball or an oval-shaped organ of the immune system distributed widely throughout the body and linked by lymphatic vessels. Lymph nodes act as filters or traps for foreign particles and are important in the proper functioning of your immune system. Increasing awareness of lymphoma will allow people around the world to better recognize its signs and symptoms, leading to earlier diagnosis and more timely treatment. Having experienced it firsthand, Chris Rousseau and Mike Michael Nyker are outspoken advocates of knowing your nodes. We innovate healthcare. As a member of the winning 95 Springbok team, Chris Rousseau was celebrated for his strength and vitality. Then a sequence of unusual ailments triggered alarm bells. I felt my back is paining and I thought it might be a rugby in injury. Eventually, the pain became so uh, immense or intense that I had to uh, go to a doctor. So then the guy said to me, Chris, but there might be something wrong, you know. So they thought it's a, a kidney that stopped. And eventually they opened the kidney, put a feather in. <laughs> when I got home, the pain was even worse. And we went back and um, then the guy said to me, no, there's something wrong. I might have cancer. Despite his retirement, Chris was still the picture of optimal health. He didn't smoke or drink and strive to maintain his fitness levels. So needless to say, the idea of cancer caught him off guard. We did all the tests and he had, uh, besides the large lymph nodes in the abdomen, he had also large lymph nodes in the mediastinum, uh, that's next to the heart and the, the root of the lungs. Uh, we did the bone marrow biopsy and it showed positive cells in the bone marrow, so he had uh, a very advanced stage for lymphoma. Lymphoma is a cancer that occurs in the lymphocytes, a type of cell that forms part of our immune system. Since the 19th century, we've discovered over 70 different types of lymphoma, making this disease the most common of the blood cancers. Cancer looks like a very far distant family or relative. Nobody knows cancer until you get it. So then suddenly you start to know cancer and um, lymphoma is actually quite a curable cancer. Treatment may include radiotherapy, chemotherapy, bone marrow transplants and immunotherapy, an innovative treatment that targets white blood cells. This is where you get your life, your life lines. You become friends with the people here. The cancer family are so open. Everybody talks about their sickness. And uh, it, it's, it's a pity you can't take all the stories and show it to the world. Best known as the hilarious Michael Micah, comedian Kevin Perkins was also caught off guard by his lymphoma diagnosis. I was at university, I was 19, and uh, I got this lump came up in my neck on the side here. And fortunately at the time my mom was the chief matron at an uh, intervening hospital in Durban. So she got me in to see a specialist and he felt it and he said, no, no, he wants to take it out. On a Saturday morning, he phoned. Yeah, they said it was Hodgkin's lymphoma, it was, uh, it was stage one. So uh, I was terrified, I didn't know what to do. Having caught the cancer relatively early, Kevin had to endure six weeks of grueling treatment, which took a major toll on his body. I lost 13 kilos in six weeks of radiation. Um, very ill. You, you feel like you want to die from this flippin' treatment, but it's supposed to be curing you. 20 years after surviving this ordeal, Kevin is still very conscious of his health and reacts to any mysterious symptoms immediately. It changes your whole attitude about everything. I think maybe that's one of the reasons I mean I got into comedy is that um, I thought, you know, I'm not going to waste my life in a, in a job that I don't enjoy. And you've got to sort of think, well, if I'm not happy in my job or not happy with a situation, um, I must change it. And I don't think people who haven't had a life-threatening illness have that perspective. Once you, you get threatened with death, you start to, um, to realize that life is not uh, a given. And uh, I think you start to work harder and you want to change things quicker. And you've got much more tempo in your life. With the underlying belief that everything happens for a reason, Chris is incredibly proactive about creating lymphoma awareness and encouraging early detection. You know, if you can save one life, that's, that gives you anybody purpose in life. 
So I think the aim with the, with the lymphoma is to make people aware and to put it on their hearts. You've got, you got so much chance with lymphoma. It's very curable and there's a life, there's still a life. I'm very behind the, the, the drive of sort of awareness for the disease. The message is key. You know, you've, you've got this massive recovery rate for early detection. But if you leave it, the results of that are just too dire to contemplate, you know. So people need to be made aware of it. My advice to, to anybody that could cancer is to be positive because, like, there's so many uh, doctors, so much, many medicines, so much technology every year is getting better and more treatable and more curable. So why lose faith? Be positive and fight the disease because that's the only option you've got. Great advice, Chris. Early detection saves lives, so be sure to go for regular checkups and investigate any suspicious symptoms immediately. We innovate healthcare.